Hi everybody, welcome back to Spring. And today is, when you open your eyes, it's paradise. And so there are a lot of places that are, are paradisical, paradisical around. Um, my paradise, one of my paradises is here in my backyard. And I might describe this as paradise. Um, I could also describe Allegheny National, or Allegheny State Park, just a little ways away, including just the Allegheny River, which is a beautiful river. Um, I might talk about Long Point State Park, which is, has an interesting peninsula that goes right in the middle of Chautauqua Lake. And so you're standing in the middle of the lake, uh, just, uh, if you, you have this, and it's surrounding you by, um, not, about maybe 320 degrees. And so you get the real sensation that you're walking on water. It's really interesting. Um, uh, which I usually can't do unless the water's frozen. Uh, and uh, uh, but so but other places I've lived have had that kind of paradise feel too. I, I lived in Ontario, California, which most people wouldn't describe as paradise. But you go out and you kind of open your eyes to what you're actually seeing, and it's really beautiful. I I love to watch the trains pass by. That was my next door neighbor was the train track, right? And you, again, you don't think of that as being paradisical, but yeah, you kind of look across and it, there's something really nice about it. It's it's kind of wonderful when you think about it and where those trains are coming from, that sort of thing. Also, you can do this ironically, um, uh, or a, as criticism, right? In Viktor Frankl's books, Man's Search for Meaning, they walk outside and it's a beautiful sunset, and one prisoner, they're in the concentration camps, looks to the other prisoner and says, imagine how beautiful life could be. And that's really quite the statement, right? Life could be perfect if we just kind of shape up and stop acting like that. You, what's happening in, in Gaza right now, you might comment on. Although you might not want to get that, that uh, that's quite a thing to put on you uh, in the middle of a, uh, an early morning and you just wanted to come out and do some poems. Or you could um, write about, oh, I don't know, what, what number of things that are, that, especially those things that you see as paradise that other people don't. Uh, if you've ever been in the middle of the desert and you're from California, you probably feel the joy of that place, of the beauty of that place. Whereas when I first came across the desert, I was coming from Pittsburgh and uh, I couldn't see that as anything but a hot, dead, arid, awful place. It took me years to realize, I was like, oh my God, this is, this is not dead, this is beautiful, right? And so you might talk about it in that way too. The thing that, that is seemingly um, not paradise, but actually is. Or the things that are look like paradise, but because of conditions, actually aren't. All right, when you got it, put it down below. I'll see you tomorrow.